We're in Houston, British Columbia, Canada. Behind me is a very large spinning reel here. Perhaps the world's largest. Canada is known for having a lot of the largest things here. So anyway, we're gonna take some pictures of it and there's some murals in this little town, Houston, British Columbia, that we're gonna take pictures of and head on back down south. But that is, that's for, that's for catching the big ones. There's a storyboard here, Let's see what they got. In Port George, British Columbia, we're here at the Railroad and Forestry Museum. Been on my list as everything is. We're checking it out today. See what it's all about. All about the railroad. Yeah, it's not all about a railroad, it's all about forestry too. Forestry and railroads. And they use wood to build the railroad ties with. That's what it's about. Okay, let's see. We got a storyboard here. And we got a contraption there. We got a clock that is not on the right time up there. That was another fail. Anywho, it's a Sunday. It was 4 01 when we walk in, check my clock, and they close at 4 o'clock. So. Uh, maybe another day, another time we'll get by here. I saw some kind of sign up here I want to take a look at. Okay, we are in Quindale, British Columbia, where we have found a, they claim this to be a larger, larger gold pan. The person here told me there's the largest ones in Dawson City. Dawson City, which we visited there, we didn't see it. And also, Nome, Alaska claims to have the world's largest gold pan. But we're at this. It may be the largest, it may be the, a large gold pan with the largest fake gold nugget in it. <laughs> anyway, Quinnell, British Columbia. We're making a stop here at the 100 Mile House Heritage Site. It's on uh, British Columbia Highway 97 on the way south next town anyway 108 mile house heritage park here we got some storyboards some old buildings here and plaques on them we'll see what it says yeah big map of the ranch i don't think we're going to be doing all that could probably have a drive through here I'm going to take a picture of that one. This inside, there's a half door here, but I'm leaning over to look in. This is a telegraph office and store. I see some survey equipment back there. Wanted to post for somebody. Uh, could be a joke poster. Got a bunkhouse back here. Got my bunk buddy going there. 
It's built 1892, so it's what, 1880 characters? No, it's 108 characters. I don't know. It's my own 108 characters. Anyway, not, uh, 1892 bunkhouse by S. Tingley. Tingley. You don't even want you leaning further over here, go. Oh, got three beds. I guess that's what they used to call a bunk, would be the just like a twin bed. Unless they were stocked on top of each other, that's what I call the bunk. Bunk beds. Or a bunk house, I call it bunk bed house. It's a bunk house. That's where you bunk at. It's not connected to the site, but uh, it passed us down the way back road there. I admired the way it had that sun visor on the over the outside on the windshield. I remember seeing vehicles like that before. It's an old Chevrolet. I remember these old photos like that where you just you got four corners there you put on the picture and just stick them down there. It would have been nice for the kids to be laying down on the bear skin rug. Not nice for the bear though. Okay, got a caribou. Caribou head there, a moose head over there. Deer head way back there. Let's see if she's barefooted. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Barefooted in the kitchen. <laughs> That's the kind of gold nuggets I would like to be standing for out.
bad band. Hmm. 